Welcome back to Watch Me Cook. Take a quick second to hit that subscribe button and let's start cooking because we are making a popular Korean beef barbecue dish called kalbi. Use your substitutions as needed for the sugar and soy sauce to fit your personal preference. As a good rule of thumb, most adults will eat about a pound of these short ribs. So if you're going to their party, make sure you know how many pounds you'll need to feed your guests. It's always better to have more than less. Korean short ribs are usually made with a fruit that is pureed and this just helps tenderize the meat. But today we're going to make life simpler just by skipping this step. Let's mix up all the ingredients in a large container with the lid. This is just to help make less dishes for you. Before I forget, this is a great make ahead meal plan. So whenever the marinade is done, go ahead and put it in your freezer and thaw it out when you're ready to eat. Once the ingredients are all mixed up, start adding your short ribs to the container, pressing into the marinade as you place them down. This is just going to help soak up all the yummy goodness. Make sure you marinate these for at least two hours up to overnight in your refrigerator. So we have a few cooking options. I'm going to use my stovetop grill pan. On medium high heat, adjusting your temperatures as necessary, Place your short ribs on top. You're going to cook these for about three to four minutes per side. And try not to flip it too much because you want the meat to retain all that tenderness inside, just like you would cook a regular steak. To speed up the cooking process, you can also cut the short ribs into smaller pieces. Just cut right between the bones and continue letting this cook until it's done. Every social gathering I've ever been to, just usually throw these into those one of those large aluminum trays. Do you know what I'm talking about? Let me insert a picture for you guys. But for you, I'm going to plate mine on some cabbage, and this is really not necessary. Go ahead and eat this with some rice and kimchi to complete your Korean dinner. If you like this recipe, please subscribe. Until the next meal, thank you for watching Watch Me Cook.